Tonight, the often bizarre race for Franklin Mayor takes a really disturbing turn. That is white supremacists make a show of force for Gabrielle Hansen. Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Carrie Sharp. That group which showed up last night at a candidates forum has a reputation that stands in stark contrast to Franklin's reputation as a welcoming city. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams was there and Phil, this is a group that has been on your radar for a while. That is true. Still, the last thing that anyone had expected was for them to inject themselves into Franklin Alderman Gabrielle Hansen's campaign for mayor. Here in Franklin, Tennessee, a town that prides itself on its small town charm, area residents pack City Hall to hear from the candidates who want to run the town for the next four years. They were joined by nearly a dozen white supremacists. Someone said you were here making a statement. I don't know what that statement is. No, we're not uh, making a that? statement. We're here we for uh, Gabrielle Hansen's statement. You are? Yeah. Okay. White supremacists so protecting a candidate who has made fighting LGBTQ pride events a focus of her campaign for mayor. Some were not too eager for their identities to be known. We're just making sure everything goes well. Okay, and are you concerned about things not going well? It's a possibility and we're just here to protect Gabrielle. You're here to protect her. Yes. I hear you're all here for Gabrielle. Yes, yes sir. So, so what, what? What's the purpose? Uh, we're just here to show her some support. That's all. The man on the left is Sean Kaufman, who has been described by the Stop Anti-Semitism Watchdog Group as quote a disturbed neo-Nazi and Holocaust denier with a documented history of violence and a massive cache of firearms. A video posted online shows Kaufman and other extremists earlier this year outside a nonprofit group's drag show fundraiser. There's Kaufman giving a Nazi salute. He also showed up at a Chattanooga drag show last year with other extremists. In 2020, Kaufman was arrested for disorderly conduct at a Black Lives Matter protest. Gabrielle's a friend of mine, and uh, she's had some credible threats against her, so uh, he'll, uh, I'm just... Uh, Posted up out here. Okay. Show her some support. Then there's Brad Lewis. He's the operator of the Lewis Country Store on the far west side of Nashville, a store known for its extreme right wing messaging. When the store recently went on the market, Gabrielle Hansen was the real estate agent who got the listing. A recent investigation by the Southern Poverty Law Center revealed how the second floor of the store was being used as a white nationalist fight club. Lewis responded in a post on Telegram calling himself an actual literal Nazi. I forget the name of the group that get, got you so much publicity a few months ago, uh, the Tennessee... Um, Tennessee Active Club. Active Club. Yeah, yeah you heard yeah. them in well, that's that's too. The Tennessee Active Club aims to prepare white men for what it sees as a coming war within society. Jeff Tischhauser was a senior researcher for the Southern Poverty Law Center investigation. So this is a group that openly is anti-Semitic. They are racist, full of racist, bigoted white supremacists. And online, you know, they're, they're worshiping Hitler. And yet when Gabriel Hansen's husband arrived at the forum, Brad Lewis and another man were at his side. Hansen and a hired security guy, no connection to the active club, were joined by Sean Kaufman, the Nazi saluting figure who apparently heads the Tennessee active club, which made us wonder why would she be associating with such figures? Ms. Hansen, the, the people you're with have described themselves as literal Nazis. Is this the type of people you should be associating with? Excuse me, Phil. They, they have said they're literal Nazis. Would you, would you leave Ms. Hansen alone, yeah, please? Yeah. Is she, she, the time that you don't harass? She, she is here with people who have described themselves as Nazis. Is that appropriate for someone who wants to be the, the mayor of Franklin? Those were questions her supporters didn't want us asking. It's so nice to see you this evening. Thank Excuse you for me, I'm, I'm not talking to you. Oh, but, oh, that's so really, that's so rude of you. I'm saying hello to you. It's concerning because we have a very violent anti-Semitic racist group coming into, you know, quote unquote, mainstream political space by the invitation of the candidate. And it's just another example of how violence is becoming mainstreamed. When her turn to speak came, Hansen made no reference to the spectacle that had so many voters and current elected officials concerned. It saddens me a lot to see the outside influences come here as if we need it or as if we want it. Did you ever think Franklin would come to this? 
No, sir, I didn't. I've lived here since I was 10 years old. As for the woman who wants to be Franklin's next mayor. Miss Hanson, how does it look having white supremacists here providing you security? No comment about that whatsoever? She refused to repudiate the white supremacists who say they stand with her and her beliefs. Well, why would you have someone providing security who, who describes himself as a literal Nazi? It's a silence that may speak volumes. Now, overnight, some of the individuals involved in this made derogatory comments about me and my reporting on the social media app Telegram. Regardless, these are stories that are important to this community, and Carrie, this reporting will continue. I mean, it seems like we've gone from bizarre over the past two weeks to what is now dangerous and just hate-filled. I know that you have given Ms. Hansen a chance to repudiate these individuals. Absolutely. She has not. She has not. She knows how to reach us. Yeah. You know, maybe we'll hear from her. We'll see. The reporting will continue. Phil, thank you.